The last time I attended a funeral, I ended up with a broken arm. The story made headlines after I threw myself into my mother's open grave. It's been over two decades since that day, and while I've completely changed as a person, my aversion to mourning hasn't. But due to my responsibilities as my late grandfather's youngest relative, I'm expected to stand tall and unbothered during his wake. It's nearly impossible with my skin itching like I'm wearing a cheap polyester suit. My patience wanes as the hours go on, with hundreds of cane employees and business partners offering their condolences. If there's anything I hate more than funerals, it's talking to people. There are only a few individuals I tolerate, and my grandfather was one of them. And now he's gone. The burning sensation in my chest intensifies. I don't know why it bothers me as much as it does. I've had time to prepare while he was in a coma, yet the strange sensation above my rib cage returns with a vengeance whenever I think of him. I run a hand through my dark hair to give myself something to do. I'm sorry for your loss, son. A nameless attendee interrupts my thoughts. Son? The one word leaves my mouth with enough venom to make the man wince. The gentleman centers his tie across his chest with fumbling hands. I'm, well, uh, excuse my brother, he's struggling with his grief. Cal places a hand on my shoulder and gives it a squeeze. His vodka and mint-coated breath hits my face, making me scowl. My middle brother might look dressed to the nines in a pressed suit and perfectly styled blonde hair, but his red-rimmed eyes tell a completely different story. The man mumbles a few words I don't bother listening to before heading to the nearest exit.